I did speak to a big shipper and I don't want to give out too much information because it was private conversation, but a major shipper that has been buying a lot of freight, so that predates the global financial crisis and knows that cycle. And they were telling me that this is different. Like during COVID, they're long-term partners. They didn't answer the phone. They didn't honor their contracts. And now really these renegotiations, so spot rates have tumbled. They're renegotiating their longer term contract rates. This isn't going to be a case of let's go and have a beer and we'll work it out. It's vengeance time. I don't think that's a terrible position to take because as an operator, yes, you're tasked with saving money, but you're mostly tasked with generating or creating supply chain system and networks and platforms that can stand the test of time. And again, we go back to, I know we are in the industry with short cycles and long memories. Just never forget, okay, that there will come a time when you're no longer in the driver's seat. Get that PTSD and that vengeance and that thirst for revenge out of the system and then move on and revert to being reasonable. It stands you in good stead. I understand the sentiment. I totally understand the sentiment. That I certainly lived vicariously through my clients when I was a consultant for the last two and a half years. I get it, but get it out of your system as well. You can't let that piss off forever because before you know it, somebody's going to point out that, okay, great. So you didn't answer your phone, you didn't honor your contracts, you didn't deliver what your promise and you as a shipper was never guilty of that. Let's be honest with each other, right? Pre COVID somewhere between 60 and 75% uh, performance against the forecast was considered quite good and very acceptable by carriers. And a lot of shippers, uh, both the ones I've worked for and the ones I've worked with, they kind of nod and, and cast their eyes down when you suggest that perhaps they've not always been brilliant at living up to their own promises, right? Where the difference is, I do think, and this I've seen with my own eyes, is in the behavior. Most shippers, with a few exceptions, and there are also some shippers who display similarly super arrogant behavior, but they are the exceptions. We know that we're not always good at living up to what we promised. Sometimes there are very good reasons for it. Okay. There's supply problems, uh, component shortages, quality issues, etc. all conspire to, uh, to render forecasts uh, difficult to make. But reason and communication with your carriers, constant communication rather than and, and the arrogance that carry display in the last two years, the arrogance has never, to my knowledge, with a few exceptions, been present or displayed by shippers. And I think that's what gets people. It's not the high rates that gets people. It's the mind blowing arrogance that almost every single carrier displayed towards shippers as they broke their promises. That's why people find it so difficult to forgive and forget and move on. So carriers who are listening to this, take note because you'll be faced with that in tender negotiations if you're not already being faced with it.